At home, the rain has moved on, but there's lots of damage to clean up. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live in Sherman Oaks, where a very big tree mm -hmm. crashed right into a house. Jasmine. Yeah, Jeff, look at this. What a big mess to clean up. You can see the property here is still all taped off as this large eucalyptus tree came uprooted, toppled right on over onto the side of this home that is now red tagged and waiting for city crews to come chop and clean this tree up today. Take a look at this video from yesterday. No one was hurt when the tree fell around 3.30 in the afternoon here on Dixie Canyon Avenue. The people who live in the home, they were not even there at the time, but neighbors heard the loud crash and called 911. Some said it sounded like an earthquake. A lot of those neighbors say these eucalyptus trees are a huge problem here as the shallow roots die off and with rain in the mix, they come down very easily. Easily. Besides this mess, look at what some floodwaters did. An amazing and daring rescue caught on cell phone video as this man had to jump into those rising waters to rescue the driver of an overturned SUV that was swept away at Road Runner Road in Canyon Country. Uh, the Good Samaritan used a rock to break the window, kick out the glass, and then pull the driver out. Uh, the niece of the man who came to the rescue says they just happened to be in the right place at the right time to witness this. Jumped out of the vans. My uncle went straight to the to the SUV and tried to see if he can get in it. We were even scared to the fact that if something else was going to come down and take it, you know, take him, take my uncle, take our straps, take, you know, take everything. Wow, and that driver is Margarita Martinez. He says he was trying to return from an area where he had been working and thought he could cross again, where there was suddenly just that swift current of floodwaters. He says he knows, Jeff and Suzanne, that he is lucky to be alive. With all the rain we had yesterday, I can tell you it is still very soggy and wet out here this morning, but we haven't felt a sprinkle, so hopefully it's beginning to dry out.